Okay, so believe it or not, but only 35% of people guessing the output to this riddle got it right. If you haven't tried yet, then pause the video, take a guess, and let's look at the numbers that we got across the various social media platforms. Okay, so altogether we have around 65% of people getting the answer to this riddle wrong. Okay, so right off the bat, then we can see that the output is indeed zero as some of you guessed correctly. Now let's break it down line by line and understand why this is confusing. So this over here is what's called a type alias. Okay, this feature allows you to disambiguate if you have two namespace or types that have the exact same name, but a different namespace path, then it allows you to disambiguate and give it some alias. The alias can of course be just the name of the type or namespace. And then the compiler knows that each time it sees this alias, then it's talking about that explicit namespace or type. Okay, so that's the first feature. And this over here is the type alias. The reason this is confusing is because that in C Sharp, when you want to name a variable, a method or a class with a name that is a keyword or a reserved keyword in the language, then you have to prefix it with the at symbol. So if I want to name my variable int, then I can't simply write it like this because int is a reserved keyword in the C Sharp language, but I have to prefix it with the at symbol and then this compiles successfully. And then I can use it below simply saying something like the following, okay? Now this is true not only over here, but also for type or namespace aliases over here. So if I want to say, for example, using double equals system dot double, then I can't do it like this because again, double is reserved. I have to escape it with the at prefix, right? And then I can use it below saying something like the following. Now you might be asking yourself, if this is the case, then how are we able to use the var keyword over here without having to prefix it with the at symbol beforehand? And the answer for that is that the var keyword or the feature of implicitly typed local variables was introduced in C Sharp 3. So we have var, which is legal for backward compatibility reasons. And over here we can say var as the name of the type, but also because it's a valid variable name, then we can also name it the name of the variable. Then over here, what we're doing is we're basically saying this is equal to zero because saying default like this is like saying default of var or of system int 32. And finally, the exclamation point over here doesn't mean anything in this context. That's because the default of int 32, which is a primitive type is zero and it's not a nullable type by default. So the exclamation point doesn't mean anything. We can just get rid of it if we want to. And that's it. That explains why the output is finally zero. If you've made it this far, then I want to leave you with another riddle for the end, which is the following. So I'll rename the var to async and freeze the frame. Okay, so the following code is this valid C sharp. Will this compile? And if yes, what is the output? Let me know what you think in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed this video or you learned something new, make sure to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.